In this video, we're going to take a Java program and set up a debugging session. We will create, for the purposes of this example, a single breakpoint on the line 36, which we'll do simply by clicking the 36. That sets up then this uh, breakpoint and indicates it with the pink line. What we're going to do as well is set up a watch on the variable choice. And I can do that by right clicking on choice and selecting new watch and then clicking OK. So I now have in the variables window the variable choice and its type and value which are blank. Next we can create a debugging session by clicking on debug in the menu and then debug project. This will set up the debugging session along with the output that we would normally expect and the variables tab which has got a list of all the variables that are currently in context. In addition to that we've got at the top here those variables or expressions that are set up as watches. You can see here that the line that was pink is now green. This is because the program has been executing and has stopped at the breakpoint. So line 36 is where we currently are, indicated by the little green arrow as well as the whole line being shaded in green. In the variables window we can see that uh, we have got, for example, the results array. If I scroll up a little bit here, we can see that the results array has already been set up and therefore it is a variable that is in context and has some values. If I click on the plus sign to expand the list we can see that we've got this result array, in other words an array of result objects, with a number of elements. Element 0, that is the index 0, if I expand that will show the result object with its attributes name and mark. The value of the name is A, the mark is 23, which is exactly what was set up here. If I look at element 1, the name is B and the value 87. Now that's not the second item here, but we have to remember that what's happened is that before this breakpoint, line 35, the array was sorted by name and therefore now B is in second position. I'm going to collapse that uh, view for now. Now what I want to do next is to see the output and the variables side by side. So I'm going to click on the tab and drag it across to around about here until it shows me just what I want. There we are. That's how I want it. Release the mouse button and now I can see the output and the variable side by side. Now here I have uh, an option. This is a method call. If I want to I can step into the method by clicking on F7 or uh, this icon here or I can step over the method by hitting the F8 key or clicking on that button. The effect of this uh, if I show you here that uh, I'm going to step into, that will take me into the output method. And now I'm able to uh, step again, either into or over. Well, I don't want to step into this one, so I'm going to step over. And you can see that in the output window, the output message, exam results, has appeared, which was produced by line 233. If I step over again we'll then see in the output window the underlining. And then we can keep on stepping and you can see for example here this is created an integer variable called i with an initial value of 0 and in the variables window i has got the value 0. If I step over again we'll get the message come out and look at the value here. Uh, we've still got I, we've come back up to test, that test is still going to be true, um, but what hasn't happened yet is the increment. So I'm going to step over and that has 
done the increment we can see the value of i is now 1 and because that condition is still true we've come back into the loop. Now I'm going to uh, keep pressing this just to show you that we can keep stepping through the whole loop but I don't want to do this uh, 20 times so what I'm going to do now is set another breakpoint at this point and then click continue and that will uh, just start executing as normal no further stepping until we hit the next breakpoint that I've just set and if I carry on stepping with F8 that takes us out of the method because the method has now finished and we come back to the following line now this is where the value of choice is going to change at the moment it's a bit difficult to see but it's saying that choice is not a known variable um, this is our watch the variable hasn't yet been created in the execution but we're just about to do that with this declaration and the method call now instead of stepping into the method display menu which I could do if I wanted I'm going to step over and we can now see that the method display menu has output the menu and is waiting for input here that's why the green line has disappeared we're we're not stopped at this point so I'm going to enter an option number we'll put in three and hit enter now the display menu method has returned the value that was typed is stored in here so if I hover over the variable you can see that there's a little tip message appeared saying choice equals int 3 and over in the variables window this variable that is on watch now has the value 3 and down here because choice is now in context it's been added to the current list of variables in context I'm going to use F8 to keep stepping over for a while and next name get the item so name to look for let's say we want to look for Joseph hit enter and now we're going to find my name that's where we've stopped I'm going to step over by hitting F8 and then well what does the value index have we can check this it's got the value minus one which means that the name was not found that's because we're doing a search for Joseph written all in lowercase and yet the uh, actual name entered in the array has got an uppercase so I'm going to uh, keep stepping until we get to this line here choice has got the value 3 we're about to call display menu again so I've hit F8 to step over this now I'm going to put in the value 1 as my option and when I hit enter watch what happens to the value of choice it has now changed to 1 and because that was the end of the loop the step has taken us back up to line 40 and so we're able to step line by line and debug our programs when you're ready to stop uh, because you found out what you want to see then you can click this button here